the NAACP. On February 12, 1909, what is now the nation's oldest and largest grassroots civil rights organization was formed. The NAACP, which stands for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, has been a driving force in fighting race-based discrimination in the United States since its founding. In 1909, racial injustices were common. Segregation was legal in many parts of the United States. Employment discrimination was common, and voting rights were often denied. People of color across the country had to live with the fear of racial violence and lynching. And so, the NAACP was formed, built on the ideals of another group, the Niagara Movement. W.E.B. Du Bois, along with 29 other prominent African Americans, started the Niagara Movement in 1905. They met near Niagara Falls and wrote a manifesto calling for equal civil rights, the end of racial discrimination, and the full recognition of humanity for people of color. In 1909, many white liberals in New York City joined with some of the Niagara Movement's black intellectual leaders. And from that group, the NAACP was born. In addition to W.E.B. Du Bois, other NAACP founders included renowned civil rights leaders Ida B. Wells and Mary Church Terrell. The NAACP's mission has been to achieve a fully integrated society with equal rights for all. Its national leadership has always been interracial, even though the greater membership has been mostly African American. To achieve its mission, the NAACP has not only focused on using the legal system to challenge discrimination, but also on convincing all people of the need for racial equality through speeches, organizing, and legal advocacy. Since its inception, the NAACP has had a long list of legal accomplishments and successes. The NAACP's first challenge was fighting Jim Crow laws, which maintain legal segregation. In 1915, the NAACP was instrumental in outlawing the Grandfather Clause, which allowed white people to get around literacy tests that were used to prevent people of color from voting in many states. From 1920 to 1938, the organization flew a flag outside its New York City offices with the words, a man was lynched yesterday, to call attention to the rampant lynching occurring in the United States. In 1954, the NAACP's chief counsel, Thurgood Marshall, successfully argued the case of Brown v. Board of Education before the Supreme Court, ending the legal segregation of schools. During the Civil Rights Movement, the NAACP co-organized the March on Washington in 1963, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. The NAACP lobbied for the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which outlawed discrimination and the 1965 Voting Rights Act, which made it illegal to deny people the right to vote based on their race. Today, the NAACP remains actively committed to fighting discrimination. Its scope has widened to include fighting inequality in economics, healthcare, education, voter empowerment, and the criminal justice system. To this day, the NAACP continues to serve as an important legal advocate for all civil rights issues.